what's up? By the time you see this, it will be Christmas Day and you'll be opening presents and this quilt will be done for my son, I hope. Hi, my name is Lori. Welcome to my We Are Quilters channel. Today in episode 15 of We Are Quilters, I am going to show you how to, how I put a quilt on the big machine. It is a mid arm. That's what I'm calling it. It is a Juki on a Gracie frame. It works well for the space I have and the budget that I have. So let's go. Like I said in the last episode, when we talked about quilting on a domestic machine, I have been reading this book, Tips for Quilting. It covers all sorts of quilting hints and tips. My favorite one is practice, 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 doodle, practice. My friend Barb, who has never ever touched a quilt machine, came over and she was practicing. She's like, it is like doodling with a sewing machine. My daughter-in-law says, ooh, it's like Magna Doodle, but better. In a very short time, Barb created a free motion fish and a butterfly. And here I did the next block with a feather and some flowers and sh simple shapes. Again, I have plastic transparencies. You can use all kinds of things to trace and doodle. Tracing paper. And here I show you again, this is where I had it set up on the long arm and was laying the piece over to trace and doodle. Because practice, practice, practice. Doodle, doodle. And I do use a Sharpie. Now I will give you a word of warning that you need to be very careful that you do not go off the plastic, which is clear, and onto your fabric because it will not come out easily. So I decided that I was going to put spider webs in since spiders are good luck in many cultures, spider and spider webs, one of my friends pointed out yesterday that they live in the luckiest house on the planet, if that is true. And mm, I'm probably a close second because, ooh, spider webs. Not that I like spider webs, but sometimes, you know, the cleaning thing. Don't have time to do very much of that. <music> that works. I kind of like that. Not bad at all. I need to set that aside while I get out my next plastic piece. I apologize for the grand dog barking in the background. He is locked out of my sewing space, but he suffers from OMG S3. Oh my gosh, saw some squirrel silliness. Not crazy about that one. That wasn't really what I had in mind, so I'm gonna try a different one. A lot of times before I even start to doodle, I have something in mind, and so usually I'm happy with maybe the first or the second one. Sometimes not. Life doesn't have to be complicated.
Here's an important tip for you when you're using any kind of quilting machine. Always take the time to pull your bottom thread up to the top, or it will be a tangled mess that you will have to pick out or cut out later. Always pull your thread to the top, even on the domestic machine like I showed you last week. That little blue box that has the on off button is a stitch regulator that works with this Juki machine. It is fantastic and wonderful to use because of that. Now that practice is done, it's time for me to get to work and quit messing around. So the first thing I need to do is pick a thread that goes with this backing. This is a fantastic mandala, mandala that my son had on his wall. And uh, that one's not quite, ooh, that one is it. If I unspool it, this is the real test. If I unspool it later, oh, looks good. Blends in just enough. This tubing, it's like um, aerator tubing from a fish tank is how you attach quilts to the bars on this machine. You use this tool, which is basically a spline tool if you've ever done screening, to push that tubing down in and attach it to a groove in the bar. Here's the backing hanging down so that the weight of the backing will keep it nice and straight as I roll it up onto the bars. On the bottom bar, I use a muslin header and use pins to hold it on. I'm throwing in a picture of a traditional quilt frame that you would use for hand quilting. It has the same sort of system with the muslin headers. Here's the quilt top draped over the frame before I start to quilt. Here I've started a little bit of the work on the top edge. Oh, I need to get busy. You can see how there is a thin roll at the top and a thick roll where the quilt is rolled up at the bottom. Well, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. See you next year while I get back to work here.